Just a couple of days ago, I was scrolling through Twitter and came across this website packed with some seriously slick animations. Honestly, massive shout out to the Sentry team. They have done a really great job. The whole experience is just next level. So, I decided to give it a shot. Now, not everything felt instantly within my reach, but what really caught my attention was this incredible scroll experience filled with buttery smooth micro animations. After spending a couple of hours on my own version, I ended up building something that captures the same scroll driven vibe. So, in this video, I will walk you through exactly how it all comes together step by step. You will learn how to pin a section, create synchronized flickered text animation, animate the clip pass sequences while also adding zoom effect to images and even dribbling text. All triggered by scroll using scroll trigger. Honestly, I enjoyed building this project. Drop a like if you enjoyed it too and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this one. All right, let's just jump straight into the code. Okay, let's start building the structure. Inside the body, I'm creating a main container to wrap all the sections. Inside the main container, we are going to need four sections for our content. The hero section, the about section, a sticky section and finally the footer. Let's start filling them one by one. First up, the hero section. I'm adding a heading and a short description below it. This is the big full screen banner you saw in the preview. Next is the about section. This one is a simple two column layout. On the left, I'm adding an image wrapper. And on the right, a heading. We will style this to sit side by side using flexbox. Now we move on to the sticky section. This is where all the animations happen. First, I'm adding the intro text area. It has two small columns. The left side has two lines and the right side has one line. These lines will get our flicker effect later. Below that, I'm adding three image wrappers. Each wrapper holds one image. We will animate the wrappers using clip paths and the images with scaling. And in the center of the section, I'm adding an outro text area. This stays hidden initially and then rotates into view during the final scroll. At the very end, in the footer section, I'm adding an H1 for the title. At the bottom, len is for smooth scroll, gsap, scroll trigger and script file is added. And that's pretty much it for the HTML part. Let's move on to the styling. At the top, I'm importing the Roboto Mono font from Google Fonts. And then I'm resetting the basics, merging, padding and box sizing. Next, I'm loading the custom FK Screamer font. I'm also setting a default style for all images making sure they fill their containers and stay nicely cropped. Each section takes up the full viewport height and all my H1 tags use the custom font with uppercase text. The main container just expands based on the content. Now let's style the hero section. I'm giving it a background image, centering it and making it cover the entire screen. I'm using Flexbox to center everything and stack the content vertically. For the heading, I'm going big, 15 VW, so it stretches across the screen and pushing it upward using padding. The description text gets small uppercase styling with a bit of padding for spacing. Next, the about section. This one uses flexbox with space between so the image and text sit apart. I'm giving it a blue background, some padding, and the heading on the right gets a really large font size with a tight line height.
the image wrapper on the left gets fixed width and height plus a solid border. Now we move to the sticky section, the main animation area. I'm setting the section to relative and adding perspective. This is important because some elements will rotate in 3D later. The intro text sits in the center vertically. So I'm using absolute positioning and translate to center it. It's a flex layout with two columns. Each paragraph stretches to fill its space. And the second column is right aligned. The spans inside the text are set to inline block. That just makes the flicker animation easier to control later. Below that, the three image wrappers, image 1, image 2 and image 3 are all absolutely positioned so they stack perfectly. For image 2 and image 3, I'm adding clip paths. That's what gives us those sliced layered effects during scroll. In image 3, the image is zoomed in using scale 3 and its origin is set to the bottom center so the reveal looks dramatic. Then we have the outro text. This one starts completely rotated and scaled down with opacity set to zero. We will animate it forward during the final part of the scroll. Lastly, the footer section is centered using Flexbox with a warm orange background and a big bold heading. And at the end, I have added a small responsive block for screens under 900 pixel. Just resizing the hero text, the about section and a few small adjustments so everything fits nicely on mobile. And that's all the styling for this project. Now the fun part begins. Let's jump into JavaScript and bring everything to life. Alright, let's jump into the JavaScript. First thing I'm doing here is registering scroll trigger and grabbing the sticky section. We are using a height of 4 viewports so that the scroll animation has enough space to play. Next, I'm setting up Lenis for smooth scrolling. This part basically replaces the default browser scroll with a much smoother one. I'm also syncing Lenis with the scroll trigger, so both stay in perfect sync while we scroll. Now, this part looks a bit long, but it's simple. We are just splitting the intro text into individual span tags, so we can animate every single letter one by one. So each paragraph goes through this loop. Its text gets broken into characters and every character gets wrapped inside a span with opacity set to zero. This lets us animate each letter independently later using a flicker effect. Now I'm creating a small helper function called flicker animation. It just fades letters in and out with a random stagger. This gives that chaotic glitchy flicker effect when the sticky section enters the screen. And here I'm creating a scroll trigger just for the flicker.
When we scroll into the sticky section, the letters turn visible and when we scroll out, they fade back out. Alright, now this is the main part. I'm creating a big timeline that controls all the image animation inside the sticky section. We pin this entire section in place while the user scrolls and set a scrub to true so the animation stays perfectly tied to scroll movement. This gives us the cinematic panel by panel effect. Alright, let's start with the first animation, scaling the first image slightly. This gives us slow zoom in while we scroll. Next, we animate the second image. This wrapper starts with a small rectangle in the middle and we expand it to a full screen rectangle using clip path values. There's also an on update function here which runs on every scroll frame. And smoothly interpolates the polygon points from the starting shape to the full shape. In simple terms, the second image grows outward as we scroll. And then, same as before, we scale the image slightly to add more depth. For the third image, we repeat the same idea, but the starting shape is even smaller, right in the center. As we scroll forward, it expands exactly like a shutter opening. And again, we scale the image on top of it. Here, I'm scaling image 2 a little extra. This helps transition into the final text reveal smoothly. Now, for the outro text, this gets its own timeline and its own scroll trigger. It only plays near the end of the sticky section. and basically rotates the text into place, scales it up and fades it in. And that's pretty much it for the JavaScript. We set up smooth scrolling, split the text into spans, added a flicker animation and built a scroll driven timeline for all the image transitions. Now let's take a look at the final result in the browser.